Good morning, folks. Today we've got to take an uncomfortable look at geospace and the solar pounding the ionosphere is taking. We had a solar flare as well here the last day. Let's run it down at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on our star relatively quiet until this morning when the departing limb let loose an M-class solar flare. You can see it there at the right side of the chart, the spike. And again, it was the departing active region sunspots at the very side of our perspective. CME will miss Earth. But as the reverberations of the previous CME impact were occurring here at Earth, the coronal hole stream arrived. Density spike followed by another storm condition. And we're going to have to bring this up again here in the show in just a minute. A touch of eye candy here. NGC 169 and an interacting galaxy. The big one is a Seifert galaxy, known to blast stars out from its central region, and one wonders if this was a chance encounter or if the big one is raising the little one. We've also got a dark matter model taking a spanking once again. A complete interaction profile of the galactic interior defies the models, forcing this team to think dark matter is indeed interactive. In reality, it's the Hall and Z and other electrodynamic effects within the galactic system. Now folks, this is kind of hard to believe. Astra Space had their first satellite launch from Florida yesterday and everything was going fine after liftoff and for the first three minutes of the flight. But when it hit the ionosphere, they lost all control. Rocket began spinning like crazy and was lost. Folks, exactly one week after SpaceX, another weak geomagnetic event with a double storm occurrence profile and space missions lost in a key coupling point for space energy in the ionosphere. From the amount of drag increase, to the electric current surging through the medium. Our planet has acted like it was in a major geomagnetic storm two weeks in a row, but no such major solar outbursts occurred. The impact of the minor events continues to suggest our planetary field is in big trouble, and the lower layers, the ionosphere and the atmosphere of Earth, are becoming more vulnerable. We greatly appreciate your support. On our website members podcast today, we've got a top news rundown. We'll be discussing that deeper look episode even more, the earth tilt and the tsunamis, and what may be expected over the coming weeks as freedom strikes back. It's what you get for treating us like we're in squid games. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.